yeah, we have wave defense here. So there are two modes. And uh, the only distinction between these modes is that private mode, uh, you can basically queue with a party or by yourself or with two or three people, whatever, and you just get in instantly. It's like, uh, you could think of it as like almost an offline mode, but not quite, or like a single player mode or two player mode or whatever, right? Pick your own adventure, how many people you want to bring in there. Match made mode, I would suggest renaming it to public. I think that's just a better word for it, but this will have you join random people and you'll pretty much always get a five stack. So, and uh, also one thing to note, uh, they do actually have custom scaling. So, if you are in a five stack, you're going to have a lot of enemies. But, if you're playing single player solo mode, you're going to have drastically fewer enemies. So it's scaled, uh, the difficulty scales based on the amount of people in the lobby, so that's something to note. And this is a PvE mode, where you have to survive swarms of enemies, that will be trying to capture an objective. So it's like Onslaught, but PvE with modified rules. And yeah, this is uh, important to emphasize. This is a feature that is in development. So uh, Cryptic, I believe, wants all your feedback <laughs> on this Vora mode. Vora Rush. Yes, Vora Rush. Because uh, yeah, uh, the scaling, the types of enemies, the types of attacks that the enemies have, even the AI of the enemies is all subject to debate. So. It's important that you guys test this mode out, give them your feedback on if you think it's too difficult, if you think it's too easy, what improvements you would like to see. They're also hopefully going to tidy up the UI, the scoreboard, all that type of stuff. It's still a bit glitchy. Think of it as a beta, right? We're going back to Paladin's beta. This is a beta feature. So it's not going to be super polished, but hopefully it'll be super fun. Uh, if I queue private as well, the other thing is I think it's an instant queue. So if I just queue up like this... Two second queue, look at that. Oh. <laughs> now, I would like to play Knessa. I want to see what these changes feel like. And also, I mean, traditionally, it's a very bad idea to bring a sniper into a horde shooter. Because, you know, you don't need single target damage. You need hordes of damage. You need area of effect. You need lots of crazy damage. But... I don't care. I have a team. That's what I have a team for. So my job, I guess, will be picking off the big targets. One-shotting the small targets. I don't know. It's Knessa. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, and we can also skin boost. It's just business, um, kid. But if I recall correctly, it's still bugged trying to equip these recolors. I'll equip the yellow one anyways, just to see if it works. But yeah, I think that is bugged right now. And yeah, in fact, it is bugged because, see, I'm using the chill wave mini, so... Skin boosters with that new selection are bugged. Out here, I'm <laughs> Play killing for music use round. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, I could. Okay. So, um, yeah, also another thing that I have heard from the back channels. You have to press U to pick your talent. <laughs> it doesn't automatically put you into the talent selection. It's a bug. Like I said, guys, this is a beta project. Not super polished on the PTS right now, but uh, that's why feedback is welcome and they're gonna be working on it. All right, so I'm gonna play, I'm gonna try Octopressor. I think that'll be good in this mode. And I'll use this build, which has ultimate charge. So, you know, more ults, the better on these enemies, right? And I think, uh, I'll probably try Trigger Scent and maybe a bit of Life Rip. Another thing is the enemies have set Cauterize, and it's not super high. So, yeah, and you can already see Avatu has spawned. Oh, there he is. See, this is why I'm playing a Sniper. I can pick him off before he even gets to the point. Now I can teleport up here, take advantage of that faster buff, and I'll throw a mine there, I'll throw a mine there, and my third mine I'll probably throw up here on the other side. But yeah, we're just gonna have a bunch of bots spawning, and they are slowly going to start swarming the point. You can see them on the top right. They just populate. The more bots there are, the more they show up on the top right. So we got three, four. They just kind of disappear. Yeah. As soon as they die, it's a bit uh, jarring. <laughs> Ooh, speed boost. That's another thing. They drop uh, pickups, power ups that you have seen in previous limited time modes. They have a chance to drop one. So. Hello, Vatu. Goodbye, Vatu. Uh, it does change. So there are, I believe, four different types of enemies per map. There are three maps, so 12 enemies in total. And each wave just spawns a different type of enemy. So up first we have Vatus. And we'll see what we get up next. Bop. Bop. This faster fire rate really does help for this uh, horde mode, doesn't it? 
You know, if you want to have a sniper in a PvE game, you'd ideally like to have someone who can shoot fast or have a lot of peers. And this is a sniper that shoots fast, so we are absolutely dominating these guys right now. Thanks, champ. Uh, hello. There you are. Boop. Boop. We are getting a lot of spawns. Holy crap. I'm going to pop my ult, and I'm going to live this, I hope. Oh, no. <laughs> crap. Okay. Uh, this is why I need Bloodbath. Bloodbath is unironically good in this mode. With how many kills you're getting, well, it procs basically all the time. So, yeah. I can just get a lot of healing, and they have low cauterize, so it's not like getting diminished that much, and it's been buffed to provide 1,200 health per kill. And uh, I believe the next wave is starting. You'll notice when a new wave starts, all the enemies will be cold. And then, yeah, we got a bunch of Furias now. A bunch of Harpies! Get them! Oh, man. She's just... <laughs> ugh, she's hitting me with her balls, man. I don't like that. Stop it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stop it. Die. There we go. Yeah, look at that bloodbath. Rising up. Healing me up. We can take advantage of the better carbine as well. Look at that damage. Look at that accuracy. Spray down there. Boom. Nice. Will Rejuvenate increase the healing of Bloodbath? I believe it does. So, um... Yeah, let me max out Bloodbath, and we will see how that feels. Um... Need to take a bit of damage, though. Let me go back up top. That seems to be a good place for me to take damage. Hey, Harpy, over here! Shoot me! Shoot me! Okay, now die... Oh boy, I'm getting 150, but I can't tell. I don't think that's my bloodbath. I think it's stacking with my team. So let me get a fresh kill on you. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> it's hard to gauge. Okay, well, I'm getting 150 with multiple kills. So now if I may rejuve, I'll just buy it. Perfect Final item. Bit. Since I'm also buying life as well, right? And then try and take some damage. And then shoot to kill. Man, I just can't tell. It's inconsistent. <laughs> the procking. There we go, gotcha. 82, 83, that seems like an odd number, so it seems like it might be working. Let me buy more rejuve. Oh boy. Hell out. Can you die, please? I need some damage, though. I need someone to shoot me. There we go, she's shooting me. I think it is working. I want to say it is. <laughs> so many beams, yeah. <laughs> the Furios are actually pretty ferocious. Although it is kind of weird how, for the Abyss map, we have Furia. And then for the Pyre map, I believe there's Corvus. It's like they switched teams. <laughs> Try and figure that one out. Hey, we are just getting a ton of healing, so I'm going to get more life rip. Just max out all these healing items. I'm going to be healing like a champ. Oh, that doesn't one-shot. Oh, man, I need more trigger sense as well. I'm just barely not one-shotting these guys. Let me pop over here. Oh, it seems like they've also scored. How do they score? I think... I don't know if they score for kills as well, or if it's just for getting on the objective. But one thing we do have to remember as a team is that, yeah, if they touch the point, they will start to get points. And if they get up to 30, we lose. Wow, look at that damage, though. Damage boosted with Furia, plus the damage buff of the Carbine, plus Trigger Scent. And you know what? Plus my ult, too. Boom. We got the dredges now. Let's see what the dredges are up to. Ooh, he's shooting kegs and stuff. Yeah, sir, please. Oh, boy, that is such a bad angle. <laughs> there we go, we got him. Matey. <laughs> Very silly name. Oh, he's also got the uh, bare bones skin. Interesting. I need to keep remembering to throw mines down. They don't really seem to shoot the mines, so if I just put one right there in the center. Yeah, that latches on him. That's a lot of free damage. And I can put one here, too, as well. That'll be good. Just line them all up right there. They killed two of you. They get score for points and kills. Okay, so they do get score for kills. Good to keep that in mind. So don't die! Bop! Ooh, hey, I did 1,200 damage there. Let's go, trigger scent. Let's max that out. Nice. Any work on making the bots not so derpy? Yeah, they... I think that's the biggest hindrance to any sort of Paladin's PvE. The game has the abilities, it has the item store, it has the customization to make it work, but... The AI... And possibly the difficulty is the biggest thing, and I really don't feel like we're struggling right now. 
We could potentially struggle when the ROMs come. We'll just have to see. This mode isn't that bad I would play it. Hey! That's a good sign. Oh boy. I got slowed. Sir, please. I do feel it's a bit too easy right now, but you guys also need to play it for yourself and say if it's too easy, because, uh, well, not to brag or anything, but I am kind of good at this game, you know, just, just a little bit. Like, I, I have a little bit of experience playing Paladins, so defeating Paladins AI isn't exactly the hardest thing. Owning the boss. Yeah, I am wrecking these guys. Wow. I'm starting to feel a performance hit, though. I'm going to put my FPS on the right. It is dipping pretty hard. Oh, we got some cultists. Oh, and it's the Roms. Hey. Thanks, champ. Hello, Rom. You are a tanky boy, aren't ya? Wow, there are a lot of bots here. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let me take you down. Boom, boom. Let me get a mine here to help me fight the demon. Remember I'm the demon slayer. Demon Slayer Knessa! Boom! 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 Oh, hold on, I'm missing. Knessa can actually do a pretty decent job ad clearing, though. Just one-shot all of these cultists. That is a nice motley of characters. I wish there was this much variety in the other waves. But as you can see, look on the right. I am dipping down to 60, 70 FPS. And I have a 4090 and an Intel i3-13900, whatever the heck it's called. A good Intel CPU. My game is getting wrecked. <laughs> oh my. Yeah, performance is an issue. Oh no. Yeah, we're all lagging like crazy. Yes, yeah, so that's what it's called, question. I couldn't remember the name of it. I'm sorry. I am bad. Hold on, I'm bad at snipers. Whoa! And I got kicked over here. Okay. I am really enjoying this enemy density, though. This is kicking the heat up a notch. This is fun. I just wish it wasn't so laggy. <laughs> Hello, let me ult you real quick. You need help over there, Stealthy? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, most of them left. I guess I'm just going to conserve most of that ult charge then. Take you down. Do a bit of ad clearing. Oh my, there's so many of them. There are more cultists than the first wave. Jeez. Whoa. Uh, oh, I killed a demon somehow. <laughs> okay. Wow, I am actually at 60 FPS right now. Holy crap. Look at that kill streak, though. I'm popping off. Oh my god, the frames are awful. I'm going sub 60. <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Yikes, yeah, oh, this is... Man, this really is a beta project. This takes us back to the performance of the beta days. Or the performance of uh, Siege Remix with the payload. Or not Siege Remix. Yeah, yeah, Siege Remix? Siege Beyond. Siege Beyond with the payload. Oh my. Ah! I'd rather have the boss do more damage instead of being tanker. I believe that it's healthier. That is true. They need to put more pressure on you. Although I think a good mix of both is a good way, because also, if they do more damage but they don't have the health to survive, then they're still not going to be a threat. Oh man, this last wave is a lot of fun. Just the enemy density is really nice. Uh, but yeah, the lag. Holy, the lag. <laughs> Boringly easy at the start, but not bad near the end, so you guys need to buff them on the first few minutes. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The first wave, pretty easy. It shouldn't be extremely difficult, it just needs to be more engaging. Fury a build on this mode. I think just spawning multiple types of enemies for each wave would help to spice up the gameplay a little bit. But yeah, that was pretty cool. And we do have the scoreboard here. 103 kills and 103 assists! I am the best Kinesa player in the world! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Oh boy, that is, that is goofy.